Today, you can travel to locomotion by train from every corner of Great Britain. But that's only because over 180 years ago, pioneering engineers in the nearby town of Shildon opened the world's first public steam rail line. Now at Locomotion, you can explore how far the railways have come through a collection of amazing engines, carriages and stories. In September 1825, Locomotion No. 1 pulled the first steam-hauled passenger train from Shildon on the Stockton and Darlington Railway. A crowd of 10,000 people came to meet it at the other end. That journey proved railway technology was ready to come rolling in and change life in Britain forever. Timothy Hackworth, resident engineer on the Stockton and Darlington Railway, built this original locomotive, Sans Pare, in 1829. It competed against Stevenson's famous rocket in the Rainhill Trials, which showed steam engines could handle long-distance passenger and goods transport. What must it have been like riding in this railway carriage from the 1840s, one of the oldest surviving in the world? You would have paid to travel first or second class, but the poor old coachman had to sit outside and guard the luggage. What happens if snow halts your train in its tracks? Just send for the ingenious snowplow. Engineered in 1891 in Gateshead, the snowplow came with a crew to help dig out track trains. Imagine seeing this streamlined shape steaming in to the rescue. Fast forward to 1955, when the handsome Deltic diesel electric engine began running up and down the east coast, pulling expresses including the Flying Scotsman. Its design is still super stylish, and it was so powerful it could do the work of several steam locomotives. So how did UK Railways shift up a gear? It's thanks to the Advanced Passenger Train Experimental. Engineers from the aircraft industry built this turbine-powered locomotive, driving up its speed while using the existing track. That is one of the reasons why you can travel at speed today to Shildon, where the story of rail began.